IDF strike was conducted towards the aid convoy. I want to repeat that. No IDF strike was conducted towards the, the aid convoy. On the contrary, the IDF was there conducting a humanitarian operation to secure the humanitarian corridor and allow the aid convoy to reach its designated distribution point. As you can see in this video, the tanks that were there to secure the convoy sees the Gazan being trampled and cautiously tries to disperse the mob with a few warning shots. When the hundreds became thousands and things got out, out of hand, the tank commander decided to retreat to avoid harm to the thousands of Gazans that were there. We are urgently seeking additional information on exactly what took place. We have been in touch with the Israeli government since early this morning and understand that an investigation is underway. We will be monitoring that investigation closely and pressing for answers. Mr. Secretary, about how many Palestinian women and children have been killed by Israel since October 7th? It's over 25,000.
Security Advisor Sullivan has said he has not seen any plan yet. John Kirby said it would be a disaster to invade Rafah. If Netanyahu defies the United States and invades Rafah, will you commit today that you will halt any future military sales to Israel? Uh, obviously, sir, that's a, that's a presidential decision, but, uh, you know, we expect that, uh, and, and by the way, I spoke to Minister Gallant uh, last night, uh, and I, I expect uh, that uh, when we provide munitions to, uh, to allies and partners, that they'll use them in a responsible way.